The U.S. Navy's mission is 24-7, 365 days a year. Anti-submarine warfare is a uniquely Navy mission that must be executed around the world, especially in forward deployed areas. Increasing the Navy's capacity and endurance to track potentially hostile submarines, especially quiet diesel-electric submarines, is a radically new class of unmanned naval vessel with the autonomy and mission robustness necessary to track diesel-electric submarines. This new class of unmanned vessel is being sponsored by DARPA in a program called ACTUV, ASW, Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel. Extremely robust and self-reliant, ACTUV operates with high reliability and requires no maintenance or human presence throughout its 60 to 90 day deployment. In fact, the only time human assistance is required is when the harbor pilot escorts ACTUV from the pier, as he does for most naval vessels. A sparsely manned command center offers a location for the communications and monitoring equipment necessary to provide infrequent updates and commands to the ACTUV and her sister ships and also to receive information transmitted by the deployed vessels. One operator on watch can cover several underway ACTUVs. After a final diagnostic check pier sign, the ACTUV is ready for her deployment. Underway, the ACTUV is operated remotely by the pilot until the most restricted portion of the harbor is cleared. The ACTUV uses this period to conduct verification checks on her situational awareness sensors. The ACTUV's robust autonomy framework permits instantaneous transition from remote control to autonomous control and back again if desired, while keeping a complete picture of the world around it and mission instructions and priorities. Once released, the ACTUV shifts to fully autonomous operation and engages its full suite of instrumentation and sensors to keep track of everything around her and lying ahead. ACTUV understands the navigation picture, the nautical rules of the road, and can track and classify other vessels and objects. Using collected data and sophisticated logic, ACTUV can infer the intent of the craft she tracks and can evaluate and adjust quickly to rapidly developing circumstances. ACTUV begins periodic low bandwidth reporting of her health and equipment status and the status of any contacts of interest to her command node. With impressive endurance, ACTUV can travel long distances to reach an assigned loiter area. Once there, she will wait her turn to pounce on potential adversary submarines. Traveling at an economical cruising speed, she adjusts her mission plan based on weather, the geographic realities of her mission profile, and external updates concerning potential target submarines. ACTUV No. 2 soon becomes a potent component of the Joint Task Force Commander's Navy Theaters and Strike Group's ASW architecture. ACTUV has situational sensors to ensure safe navigation and successful mission execution. These sensors include electro-optics, long-range and short-range radar, and LIDAR. Detection, localization, tracking, and classification are executed in all weather and visibility up to Sea State 5. ACTUV is survivable in conditions up to Sea State 7, though some mission capabilities may be degraded. Operating in her loiter box, the ACTUV Command Center learns from the embarked ASW commander that a potentially hostile diesel submarine is assessed to be headed toward the deployed U.S. strike group with intentions unknown. Responding to volatile circumstances brought on by the humanitarian crises in the region, the carrier is at risk if U.S. ASW forces do not respond decisively. The ASW commander receives updated intelligence that fixes the general position of the potentially hostile submarine. He directs a Navy P-8 ASW patrol craft to confirm and classify the target submarine as a prelude to ACTV full-time close-in trail. Just before dawn, the P-8 deploys a barrier of sono buoys across the expected track of the diesel submarine. Sensor operator, this is the TACO, dropping sono buoys in barrier pattern. Now, now, now. The proliferation of capable diesel-electric submarines poses challenges in choke points and forward deployed littorals because of their growing numbers and their ability to be extremely quiet at very slow speeds. Although no match for U.S. nuclear submarines, their relatively low cost makes them a significant asymmetric threat against U.S. capital ships and against commerce and our sea lines of communications. Ever more sophisticated anti-ship torpedoes and anti-ship cruise missiles can make them a potent force against unsuspecting prey. 
Alpha X-ray, this is Papa 8. Submerged contact of interest detected and classification confirmed. Passing contact tracking information and signature data. Roger, P-8 Alpha. Nice work. We'll engage contact of interest with ACTV number 2, currently in loiter area Delta, India. Estimated ACTV arrival in 65 minutes. As the threat submarine heads for the deployed strike group, the ACTUV races to intercept. Using existing Navy common operating picture tools, the ASW commander makes tracking and signature data from the P-8 available to ACTUV control and to ACTUV number two, directing ACTUV number two to engage the diesel electric submarine. While sprinting to intercept the diesel submarine, ACTUV continues to receive target updates, keeping her situational awareness refreshed with the most recent data. ACTUV sprints to minimize the growth in the submarine's area of uncertainty, or AOU, should on-scene assets lose contact or be forced to break contact when platform endurance limits are reached. Taking into account knowledge of the environment, the threat target, and the situational awareness picture, ACTUV optimizes a plan to acquire contact on the submarine. In this case, ACTUV predicts that long-range sensors will be able to completely envelop the target AOU. Once engaged, intelligence sensor employment and propulsive and maneuvering overmatch should prevent successful evasion by the target. After one hour of sprinting, ACTUV slows to begin prosecution as it reaches the AOU. ACTUV has a robust set of underwater sensors designed to achieve long-range detections while minimizing or eliminating false contacts. At closer ranges, tracking sensors provide precise tracking in nearly all environments. Long-range tracking is provided by a mid-frequency active passive sonar that puts sufficient power in the water to reach out to the target at the extremes of the AOU. With high power levels and sophisticated processing to minimize false contacts, it is a proven long-range acquisition sonar. As the target is closed, higher frequency active sonars are engaged to improve tracking precision and mission reliability. There are two high-frequency sonars with overlapping coverage, which are more than adequate for the task. When in close proximity to the target, a total field magnetometer array is used to provide additional information about target activity. Once close-in track is established, a very high-frequency sonar is used to take an acoustic image of the target and establish specific classification of the submarine. Entering the target's AOU, ACTUV number two begins a careful search. ACTUV gains contact, providing updates to both the ASW commander and the ACTUV command node. ACTUV number two closes the submarine and establishes close in track. Alpha X ray, this is ACTUV control. ACTUV number two has multi sensor contact on submerged contact of interest, has established close in track. The presence of other ships in the area could be an issue for less sophisticated platforms, but the ACTUV executes her nautical rules of the road responsibilities while seamlessly maintaining track on the target. Radar and electro-optical sensors maintain a precise understanding of the surface picture, enabling ACTUV to avoid surface contacts while maintaining track on the target submarine. As range to the target increases, longer range sensors energize to ensure proper handoff from one sonar to the next. When conditions permit, ACTUV closes range and re-engages close in track. The ASW commander directs ACTUV to continue prosecution. ACTUV Command acknowledges this direction and confirms that all systems on ACTUV number two are healthy and operating properly with sufficient fuel for several weeks of tracking. After several days of operation with the ACTUV continuously in contact, a demoralized diesel submarine captain and crew recognize that their submarine stealth has been and continues to be compromised. Attempts to evade using radical maneuvers and surface traffic as screens have been unsuccessful. Instead of the submarine holding the U.S. carrier at risk, the threat submarine has itself been located, closely tracked, and continuously held at risk, thanks to ACTUV. ACTUV continues to track the diesel submarine as it returns to its home port. The ASW commander will determine when to release ACTUV, and depending on fuel reserves, whether to return her to a loiter station or back to home port. ACTUV's outstanding endurance offers significant operational flexibility. The absence of significant infrastructure required in port also means the use of a divert port can extend on station time when required. ACTUV is the ASW configuration of a new unmanned autonomous surface craft class 
which combines high speed and maneuverability, high endurance, high reliability, and flexible mission payloads. It proves the concept for a fully autonomous craft that, with minor modifications, is capable of conducting a large number of missions, well beyond ASW. Examples of other missions include ISR, SIRTAS surrogate, soft overwatch and support, UUV and UAV launch and recovery, communications gateway and support to undersea distributed netted systems, littoral resupply, and combinations of these, just to name a few. Built-in modularity using innovative construction and supply chain concepts will give the Navy this unmanned naval vessel tremendous versatility without requiring significant costs. The absence of a crew simplifies the design dramatically and allows boat designers and builders to focus on the mission from start to finish. When ACTUV finally returns to port, she'll have a short period alongside the pier before she departs on her next mission. Rapid preventative maintenance is accomplished using forward deployed maintenance packs, while corrective maintenance is anticipated and planned in response to ACTUV self-reporting long before she reaches the pier. ACTUV, an extremely potent and persistent, yet affordable, theater ASW asset.